Merv, many congratulations. A hard-fought victory. Another ton-plus average into the quarterfinals. Assessment of the afternoon's work? I'm pretty pleased with it right up until um, sort of two legs to go. Um, that's just a shame it had to end that way. But uh, I'm, I'm one of these, if I see something I think is wrong, I, I've, I've, I've got to say something. And I did. And unfortunately, it's against one of my best mates. Um, it wouldn't be any different if that was against somebody else. I, if I see something, I have to call it. And I think I was right in doing what I'd done, even though I left it until after the leg had finished. Um, yeah. Um, just leaves a sour taste in your mouth when something like that happens, unfortunately. What did George say to you at the end before you talking to him? What did he say? Sorry? What did George say to you at the end? Um, I said to him, I said, do you not see it? He went, well, I'm in front of it, so it happened behind me, so it's hard to see. He went, same as it happened in front of you, and that's hard for you to see. I said, well, from where I was, it, it definitely looked as though he encroached in front of the hockey. I said, um, and if I see it, I've got to say it. I, I'm not one of these people that can just let it go. I've, if I see something, I have to say it. Um, and it was a case of it, if I'm right, then I stand by what I've done. If I'm wrong, hands up, and I apologise wholeheartedly. In incidents like that, there's a second referee looking at the camera behind. Do you think he should step in and, and have a look and maybe say something? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Um, you know, I mean, if, even though it's not going to change the, the outcome of the game, unfortunately, um, but things like that need to be addressed. And if, um, for argument's sake, you've, you've got your hockey there, and you need to move around further than Yoki, there should be a line um, level with the with the um, with the Yoki, so you know if you're in front or not. Didn't seem a very happy handshake at the end. Did, was Rob upset at the end? Obviously, I mean, as um, he's lost the game, he's not going to be happy about that. Um, and I would imagine he's not going to be happy about uh, the oh. the incident, the leg before. But as I said, if I say it, I've got to say it. I can't let it go, friend or not. Going on first for you, we know you're a meticulous practicer. Is that the best time to go on so you can get your prep absolutely 100%? Um, don't know, really, to be fair. Um, at least you know exactly when you're going to be playing within a couple of minutes. If, if you're um, second game, third game or whatever on and, and, and you think, yes, that's, that's now going to end and somebody misses a double and then they check out, I was going to go another leg and, and then maybe another one. Um, so, yeah, I, I suppose it, it helps with your prep knowing exactly when you're going to be playing within a minute or so. And then looking ahead to tomorrow, a busy day if you're to win the title, three big games. Um, don't even know who I'm playing. Nathan Aspinall or Mental Sulevic. Right, OK. Um, at the end of the day, if you're going to win the title, you've got to beat them all anyway. So, uh, you know, let's just see what happens. Merv, congratulations as always. Thank you very much. Cheers. Mervyn, congratulations on the win and another great performance. Um, is that something you've ever experienced before at a player potentially overstepping the hockey? Uh, yeah, with John Henderson in the um, Grand Slam a few years ago. Will you speak to Rob about it? Clear yeah, the air? Of course I will. Um, it, it's, it's not something I, I can leave festering. Um, it won't be yet. It will be later no. today sometime. Um, now is not a good time. He's... Uh, Obviously upset and losing the match, losing the match, and uh, probably upset about what happened. So we'll let him calm down, and then maybe we can have a, a proper conversation about it. Has it just taken the gloss off slightly? What was a, a fantastic win for you? Yeah, of course. I mean, you, no, nobody wants them sort of incidents in in any game, in in, in any sport. But unfortunately, they happen. Um, and as I said, I, I can't let it go. I have to say something. Form wise, though, the way you're playing tomorrow, you must believe that you can potentially go all the way. Um, why not? Playing well enough. Just hopefully it carries on. The sense that there's a real fire in the belly at, at the moment with you. Um, no, it's just enjoyment in the game. There, there's no, there's no fire there at the moment. Um, who knows if that joins in? May, maybe we'll play even better. <laughs> Don't know. Merv, thanks a lot. Cheers. Merv, just touching on um, the game a little bit more. I mean, you won that first session five 0 and in that first leg, there were a handful of missed darts from, from Rob at the double. Was that crucial in that first leg? Um, you'll have to ask Rob over that. I mean, at the end of the day, I, I try and take each opportunity that's presented to me. Um, in the first session, I won 5-0. First leg went particularly well, uh, particularly good on finishing. We scored well, um, the pair of us. 
But um, first leg went my way, and that, who knows? That, that might have been a um, uh, an indication of how the first mini session would have went. Mm. In past years, there may have been a a bit of a worry of having to play three longer format games in a day, but you seem like you're you're relishing those opportunities now, and I'm sure you believe that that the opportunities there tomorrow. Yeah, of course. I mean, the opportunity's there for every every player that's left in the tournament tomorrow. So, uh, you know, you, you just try and prepare properly and hopefully it goes your way. Right. Cheers for your time, Mervyn. Best of luck. Thank you.